In the mystical realm where black and white celluloid tales intertwine, there exists a treasure trove of timeless classics that transcend the boundaries of time and memory. Imagine a flickering silver screen, its soft glow casting shadows upon eager faces in a bygone era. And in the midst of this enchanting reverie emerges a cinematic gem that blends comedy, horror, and the supernatural with a dash of slapstick brilliance. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Ah, that moment when you first stumbled upon this cinematic marvel, perhaps through the creaky doors of an old theater or the flickering glow of a late-night TV broadcast. The year was 1948, and the world was introduced to a riotous collision of humor and horror, a meeting of the monstrous and the mundane. Abbott and Costello, those masters of mirth and mischief, took on a new adventure, stepping into the eerie universe where Dracula, the Wolfman, and Frankenstein's monster roamed. Was it the uproarious banter between the titular duo and the supernatural entities that drew you in? The comedic chaos as they stumbled through frightful encounters and unwittingly found themselves in the midst of an otherworldly conspiracy. Or perhaps it was that electrifying dance between spine-tingling suspense and uproarious laughter that left an indelible mark on your cinematic soul. And who could forget those scenes that carved their way into your memory like etchings on a slate? The madcap antics in the haunted castle, the slapstick exchanges that melded seamlessly with the macabre, and the unforgettable moments where horror met hilarity in a whirlwind of celluloid magic. As the years have rolled on, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein remains a beacon of entertainment that bridges generations, inviting us all to revel in the peculiar camaraderie of laughter and fear. And now, as we delve deeper into the hidden crevices of this cinematic masterpiece, let us unearth some random tidbits that illuminate the making of this iconic film. Prepare to be enchanted by behind-the-scenes anecdotes, surprising casting choices, and the curious twists of fate that brought this movie to life. From the drawing board to the silver screen, the journey of Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein is a tapestry woven with threads of creativity, ingenuity, and a touch of the supernatural. So, my fellow traveler through time and celluloid, fasten your seatbelt as we embark on a journey of discovery through the corridors of movie history. Our destination, the heart of Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, where comedy meets the macabre, and the extraordinary dances hand in hand with the ordinary. Join me, want you, me, want you, me, want you. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, the 1948 comedy horror classic not only brought laughs to audiences, but also left a profound impact on unexpected figures. Grateful Dead's Jerry Garcia, haunted by the loss of his father, found solace and fascination in the film's three iconic monsters. Their eerie presence resonated deeply, ultimately inspiring Garcia to delve into music, filmmaking, and artistry. Beyond its effect on Garcia, the movie's eclectic genre fusion caught the attention of none other than Quentin Tarantino. The film's masterful blend of horror and comedy served as a guiding light for Tarantino's own exploration of genre boundaries and his works. The influence is a testament to the enduring power of Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Amidst the laughter and cinematic inspiration, the film also cleverly wove in a reference to popular culture. In a scene where Sandra attempts to charm Wilbur, she quips, dot 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 so round, so firm to which Wilbur responds, so fully packed. This exchange playfully skewers Lucky Strike Cigarette's iconic tagline, a staple of advertising history. The tagline had even made its way into the realm of music, with a hit song by Merle Travis the previous year. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein continues to stand as a beacon of creative melding, drawing unexpected admirers and shaping the artistic trajectories of legends like Jerry Garcia and Quentin Tarantino. Its ability to seamlessly blend genres and poke fun at cultural touchstones cements its legacy as a cinematic gem that transcends its time. Its time. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, a glimpse behind the laughter in 1948. The silver screen offered a unique blend of horror and comedy, seamlessly woven together in the film Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. This cinematic gem, originally budgeted at $759,524, exceeded expectations with a final cost of $792,270. While the film's financial figures raised eyebrows, the dynamic duo of Bud Abbott and Lou Costello commanded attention, receiving $105,000 for their comedic prowess. 
One standout scene featured Wilbur unwittingly perched on the lap of Frankenstein's monster. This comedic masterpiece required numerous takes, as Costello's improvisational genius prompted fits of laughter from Strange. With each take, the boundary between actor and character blurred, creating a hilariously memorable moment. However, the film held more than laughter. It marked a significant milestone. Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein featured Bela Lugosi, the iconic Dracula of the silver screen, and his final major studio film for Universal. Lugosi's presence bridged eras of horror cinema, a poignant nod to a legacy that would forever haunt the genre. In the annals of cinematic history, Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein shines as a testament to the power of collaboration. Beyond the on-screen antics and the spirited improvisations, the film encapsulates a moment when horror and comedy converged, forever etching its place in the hallowed halls of classic cinema. So there you have it, a glimpse into the making of a cinematic marvel, where budget overruns met uproarious improvisations, and where legends bid their farewells. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein is a true gem of 1948, its impact reverberating through time, getting through time. Getting through time. Universal Classic collides with animated creativity. Dracula takes flight in 1948 seconds Abbott. And Costello meet Frankenstein in the annals of cinematic history. The 1948 film Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein stands as a testament to both horror and humor, blending the iconic Universal monsters with the comedic genius of Abbott and Costello. Amidst the macabre chuckles and timeless gags, one hidden gem shines brightly. The animation sequences featuring Dracula's bat transformation, brought to life by the skilled hands of Walter Lance. Walter Lance, acclaimed for his creation of the irreverent Woody Woodpecker, took an unexpected detour into the world of horror comedy with Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Lance's mastery over animation lent a unique touch to the film, as he intricately animated the sequences portraying Dracula's transformation from Bat to his menacing self. These animated interludes injected a whimsical layer into the eerie narrative, a true union of Lance's animation expertise with the Universal Monster Universe. This cinematic gem, celebrated for its comedic brilliance, secured a spot in the American Film Institute's 100 Years. 100 laughs list in the year 2000, landing at a respectable 56. A testament to the enduring appeal of the film's humor, it continues to tickle the funny bones of audiences across generations. Delving deeper, this cinematic classic takes a historic stride in the universal lore. While characters like Larry Talbot and Dracula had crossed paths in prior films like House of Frankenstein and House of Dracula, it is in Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein that these iconic figures share both scene and dialogue. This unique interaction etches this film in the annals of history, a snapshot of Universal's most notorious monsters converging for a memorable moment. Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein stands as a lasting testament to the magic of horror comedy fusion, an unexpected yet delightful concoction. With the flight of Dracula as envisioned by Walter Lance, its honored position in AFI's Laughter Hall of Fame, and the singular scene uniting Larry Talbot and Dracula, the film lives on as a prime example of timeless cinematic creativity. In the grand tapestry of film history, Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein continues to evoke laughter and chills, all while preserving the memory of a collaboration between Hollywood's comedic and horror realms. Bella Lugosi's sole encore is Dracula, a glimpse into the shadows of Hollywood's iconic monsters in the pantheon of horror classics. The 1948 film Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein stands as a whimsical yet haunting amalgamation of comedic brilliance and spine-tingling dread. While the film's title duo, Abbott and Costello, brought their signature slapstick humor, the production carried a pivotal distinction that echoes through cinematic history. It marked the second, and ultimately final, occasion that Bela Lugosi donned the cape to portray Count Dracula in a feature film. Lugosi, renowned for his portrayal of the immortal vampire in the 1931 film Dracula, was no stranger to the realm of the macabre. Yet, despite his propensity for playing various vampires, ghouls, and fiends in subsequent films, the role of Dracula remained a cornerstone of his legacy. The serendipitous casting decision in Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein provided audiences with a rare encore of Lugosi's iconic performance. Behind this fortuitous casting lay a subplot of Hollywood intrigue. 
Universal Studios, the maestro of monster films, initially hesitated to engage Lugosi for the role. It was Ian Keith who stood as an alternative contender for Count Dracula, having been considered for the part in the original 1931 Dracula film. However, Lugosi's tenacious manager, armed with the conviction that Lugosi was the embodiment of Dracula, reshaped the narrative. A tete-a-tete -tete with the head of Universal resulted in a dramatic reversal, securing Lugosi's rightful place as the aristocratic vampire. But it was not just Lugosi who breathed life into the film's iconic characters. Glenn Strange, a chance discovery on the Universal lot, underwent a transformative experience that would forever bind his name to the role of Frankenstein's monster. Makeup artist Jack P. Pierce stumbled upon Strange, engrossed in his portrayal of a pirate in a different film. Pierce's artistic intuition compelled him to fashion the iconic Frankenstein makeup onto Strange, hidden behind veils of paper. Only once the metamorphosis was complete did the enigmatic unveiling occur, anointing Strange as the torchbearer of the iconic monster. While Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein delivered laughter and chills in equal measure, it also etched its mark as a pivotal juncture in the careers of its cast, casting a retrospective spotlight on Lugosi and heralding Strange as the inheritor of a cinematic legend. With these threads of Hollywood history woven into the tapestry of horror, the film remains a testament to the enduring power of iconic characters and the whims of chance in the shadows of Tinseltown. 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 As we bid adieu to the reel of nostalgia, I urge you to pause and consider the remarkable dance of emotions that the 1948 classic, Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein, has woven into the fabric of our cinematic journey. Like a cherished old photograph, this movie serves as a portal to a bygone era, where the laughter of Abbott and Costello collides with the shadows of the iconic monsters. As the credits roll and the curtain falls, take a moment to reflect on the peculiar sensation that arises, a sense of kinship with the characters, a resonance with the humor, and a timeless connection to the magic of storytelling. Perhaps it's a vivid recollection of your first viewing, the company you shared or the hearty laughter that echoed through the room. Or maybe it's the thrill of revisiting those eerie yet endearing encounters with Frankenstein, Dracula, and the Wolfman, all while being wrapped in the comedic embrace of our beloved duo. The beauty of cinema lies in its ability to etch itself onto the canvas of our lives. So, let us celebrate this shared sentiment, this cinematic bond that stretches across time and generations. I invite you to share your treasured memories, your reflections, and the pieces of your heart that this movie has claimed. As you unravel the chapters of your personal connection, let us revel in the tapestry of tales that bind us to this enchanting masterpiece. Thank you for taking this introspective journey with me. Your time and sentiment are deeply appreciated, reminding us that these threads of art and emotion are what make the cinematic tapestry all the more rich and splendid. Until we traverse another celluloid reverie, keep the magic alive. Warm regards, and may your memories of Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein forever dance in the light of your recollections.